Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another unboxing and review video. This is going to be awesome. Let's open it up. Check it out. So, right here is the results of an amazing trade that I did with a gentleman. Uh, his name is Greg as well. And uh, let's just say uh, it was mutually beneficial. <laughs> um, Greg actually had some stuff that I wanted. And he actually, I had some stuff that he was needing. Uh, because he is actually getting into G.I. Joe classified figures. And I needed some more of these type figures, but uh, it's it's cool. This is really really cool. I mean, super uh, super stoked, super excited uh, to actually get get this actually going. Let's see, I'm gonna flip this around because I don't want uh, don't want the old address to show right there. Ah, packaging is amazing. We got air air pillows everywhere. Oh, 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 oh. This is so cool. All right. So basically in a nutshell, um I was I was looking around on uh, I think Facebook marketplace, saw these. We got the messaging back and forth. And uh, one thing led to uh, another, and he, he was telling me that he was getting back into G.I. Joe classified figures, or he was getting out of these and into uh, the G.I. Joe figures. So um, I saw, he'd already sent me pictures of these, I already saw them. Uh, so I started sending him pictures to uh, show him what I had and, you know, just try to come up with something. And we came up with something really, really cool as far as the trade goes. Um, there's three figures in this box, and uh, I think I traded him five G.I. Joe uh, figures for it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Where to start? I don't even know where to begin. All right. Let's just get it going. Boom. Right there. Six-scale dragon um, action figure. Yeah, these are yeah, like I said, these are the dragon figures. Um, super cool. I mean, look at this. Yeah, let's get it opened up here. To show you guys. This is the uh, Philip Wagner. Oh wow! Look at this. Look how wickedly cool this is. Oh man, that's in really good shape. We got all kinds of stuff with this thing. We got the uh, another uniform. We got uh, Luger headset, Jerry can. Uh, this is actually uh, the Wiccan Division Panzer. So this is actually um, a a tank uh, figure. But uh, yeah, look at that. So cool, uh, and I'm I'm seriously expanding on my six scale figures, especially with the World War II related stuff. Um, I'm trying to find some more Allied figures. I've got quite a few, um, but uh, yeah, let's get this next one out. This one here is the Danmark Panzer Grenader, uh, right there. Boom, right there, very, very cool. The boxes are in great shape. I mean, they are phenomenal. Oh man, this thing has a ton of accessories in it. Check this out right there. Look at that. That is so cool. Um, again, we got the uh, Looks like this is more of a cold weather uh, style, but it actually, uh, <sighs> yeah, it's got the uh, the main weapon uh, knife, got a uh, 
a uh, canteen cup. We got labels. We got an actual rifle, magazines. I mean, this is, I mean, look, look at that. Oh, very, very cool. And last but not least, get this box out of the way. Oh, man. I think this is an artillery officer, uh, Manfred uh, Hike, I think, right there. Very nice. Look at that. Let me, uh, let me pull some of this stuff over. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. Look at all the accessories that this one comes with. This is cool. This is really, really cool. I am digging this. I mean, just everything. Tons of accessories. Um, oh, he's got a helmet liner. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. I was wondering because he's got the actual, uh, like, an officer's uh, cap. But I was curious. But, yeah, he does have a helmet. This one does not have a helmet. It actually has a, um, like a fur muff, but that's okay. Uh, one of the things I just noticed on this one, um, since it's actually sort of a cold weather one, the hands are actually uh, like gray to simulate gloves. That's pretty cool. I, I didn't even notice that a while ago. Uh, this one here should just have a cap. Yep, it's got a cap, headset, all that. Very, very nice. Um, but yeah, these are... I've always been a big history buff. And uh, as, as a person that, that you know, served this country in the Marine Corps, uh, we, there's lots of history. Um, and I just, I don't, I don't know. And I grew up on G.I. Joe's, the 12-inch uh, the versions of the G.I. Joe's. So I've always had a military mindset, even as a kid. So to be able to get some of these, uh, like the dragon figures, I've never had any of those. I do have a few loose ones that I've picked up at shows. But do actually get some that are in box are great. I will tell you this, I'm not going to do a review on, on each one of them, but this one here, um, I may actually uh, do a review on this one at one point because I'm not sure, let's see if there's any information. 2004 is the copyright. Um, so if you think about it, 2004, if that's when these things came out, you know, uh, early 2000s. You're talking 20 years, give or take, you know, 15 to 20. Um, tons of detail. I mean, they're great. I mean, they are, I mean, all of this uh, leather work, everything on these things look phenomenal. So, uh, yeah. This is where it started. If you think about it for six scale, it started with G.I. Joe's, you know. So, you know, your Hot Toys and Sideshow, uh, they, they're, they owe everything to the G.I. Joe figure that came out. I'm, I'm sorry, they do. That's where it all started. So, you know, this is actually something uh, that I'm really excited to actually have in the collection. Um, yeah. Yeah, France, 1940. Pomerania, 1945. And uh, both. By the stock, 1944. So these are cool. I'm um, just a triple jointed arms and legs. Triple jointed. Oh, this is so cool. But that's not what all this is about as well, because I also found something uh, on Marketplace as well, and I purchased it. So let me sort of put these uh, up a little bit, and I'll get this out. We're actually going to open this stuff and uh, let you see what it is. Be right back. All right, so uh, the dragon figures, again, big shout-out to Greg. Thank you so much for uh, uh, trading, you know. Um, it's all, I love trades. I really do. I think trading is, is one of the best things in the world. Um, if you have things that 
you know, you can trade to get things you want. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, the, the only thing we, I mean, it's just, it, it's, that's just the way it is, the bargaining system. But uh, this right here, uh, I actually purchased this. Uh, it's a good, reasonable price. I think it was like 20 bucks. Um, and I saw it and I was like, you know, yeah. I got to get this, but, uh, this is actually a GI Joe, uh, battle gear and there's several different kinds of battle gear sets. I'll show you these before I actually show you what I picked up. Uh, you got the police set, smoke jumper, Navy seal. Um, Ooh, that one right there. That one's cool. We got heavy weapons, pilot. Um, but yeah, these are really, really cool. But I actually picked up the U.S. military photographer set right there. Um, as a photographer, it was a no-brainer, but I just noticed there's another one right there. So, uh, yeah, I had to, right? I just had to. So, let's open this thing up. Get this bad boy open. Check out all of this stuff. Um, let's see. First and foremost, uh, okay, so I'm not going to take these off. But this is such a nice touch. These are actual photos that have been downscaled to six scale. That is, that is wicked cool. Got a corpsman. We got a, a ship. It looks like we got a, uh, a beach landing right there. That is nice. That is very, very nice. Um, also, we have got a helmet right there. Very, very cool. Uh, it does come with a shirt. <laughs> I'm not 100% I'm not sure um, why the battle packs actually, you know, come with, uh, why it just came with a shirt, but the other one that comes with a shirt as well. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's still cool, though. Oh, oh, that's cool. Comes with a cap. All right. Now, that I actually like. I like the cap. The, the helmet's cool, but that's that's cool. I like this. The nice little cap right there. Uh, we have the photographer... Uh, armband right there with a P on it, and that was uh, during World War II. Combat photographers they actually did have that, which I think that's nice. Uh, it comes with something right here. Let's see if I can get this out. I'm not 100% sure what this is. I don't know what. Um, I might have to. Uh, there we go. So, this. Oh, it's a notebook. It's a notebook right there. A little notebook. That's cool. That's very cool. Um, he also comes with, he actually has a weapon. Let me get this popped out. We have a Colt 1911 right there. Very nice. If you haven't figured it out yet, I'm saving the cameras to last. <laughs> we do have a utility belt. Right there. Again, very, very cool. Very authentic. It's got the, the, the right clasp on it. Uh, he does have a holster for the 45. So I'll definitely have to uh, put that on there. Let's see. Let's see how the uh, let's see how the pistol fits in there. Let's see. No, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Boom. All right. And he also has a canteen. Very, very nice. Uh, back then, they were aluminum. When I was in, they were plastic. Uh, let's see. Which, ah, oh, it goes in this pouch right here. I'm trying to figure out what would, I guess the other pouch would be for a camera. Let's see here. Let me get this. Every time I'm, I play with these things and mess with them, these little snaps, it just, man, it just brings back so many memories of my childhood 
snap, you know, snapping clothes on and, and everything else. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's a snug fit. I'm not going to lie. That is snug. Will it fit? Oh, man, I may have to. Uh, do I have that in backwards? No, I don't have that in backwards. But, yeah, this is... Uh, I can remember now why a lot of the ones when I was growing up weren't always snapped because I can see me not having patience for this. But then the other one here, it looks like it may, I'm not for sure. It's like a pouch, but I'm not 100% sure what will go into it. But uh, yeah, anywho, there we go. All right, now then to the cameras. Camera number one. This is cool. This is this is uh, this is old school right here. This is nice. That's that's nice right there. That's a nice little uh, little camera right there. Boom. Got some good detail to it. Very very nice. Yes. Uh, camera number two. Okay. Okay. These are like period correct as far as the the look but right there so uh yeah man technology has changed when it comes to cameras and the final camera uh, oh man I, I love the fact it has the door for the film uh, but yeah let's get this thing where you can see it boom right there nice nice little camera so yeah, this is uh, this is a cool little set. Um, yeah, this is awesome. I'm digging this. I'm digging this big time. But uh, yeah, <laughs> guys, that's it for the video. Um, now I'm about to figure out. Uh, I'm about to figure out how I'm going to do this. Um, whether I'm going to take one of my existing figures or try to find another figure to create uh, this. Uh, I do have multiple figures over there, uh, so I don't know. Maybe a stormtrooper. Uh, maybe a trooper. Uh, but I definitely do dig this a lot. Uh, some of the stuff that I definitely uh, is nice to have, but having the having this these type of accessories are just amazing. So, uh, I'm seeing if, uh, that move. Yeah, this is, this is cool. And the thing about it is back during the uh, world war two is it was not uncommon to see combat photographers carry multiple, uh, cameras, uh, cause you know, it wasn't all about changing lenses and stuff. It's like you carry the cameras. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely let me know in the comments what you thought about my haul. Um, like I said, the channel, especially as this year ends and 2023 comes about, I'm going to continue to really focus a lot on these type figures. I'm still going to be getting Star Wars and stuff like that. Funko Pops every once in a while. But hardcore, I'm probably going to move away from Hot Toys and Sideshow and focus more on things like Dragon, 21st Century, things like that because um, of the history and stuff with them. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I can honestly say right now as far as Hot Toys uh, goes, uh, Bad Batch, you know, like Wrecker, if it comes out, I'll definitely get that. Um, you know, I've already got Hunter, I've got Echo, but, uh, you know... Unless it's a deal. If I find a deal, then I'll definitely pick up uh, pick up something. But uh, again, I want to try to bring some history back into toys. You know, um, the vintage stuff. This is vintage six scale. Um, and I think it's important because I never saw these, you know. I, I never, of course, I wasn't, you know, into toys back then uh, when these things came out. But these are cool, but... Guys, we're done. Unboxing's done. Thank you, Greg. Big shout out to him for the trade. I really do appreciate it. If you have any of these type figures, if you're watching this video and you have any of these, 
Hit the description. Read the hit more. Read the description. That's where all my social media is. Hit me up. Hit me up. Um, and let's work a trade. I've got Mar Black Series. I've got Marvel, DC, Star Wars, GI Joes. We can work something out. But like I said, if you have any of these type figures, just hit me up. Send me some pictures. Let me see what I got. I will give you a, t a little hint. I am working on a deal right now. And if this pans out, it will be my greatest six scale vehicle uh, edition of the year. <laughs> Just saying. Um, there's a, uh, a, a, a helicopter called the Little Bird. I've been, if you saw my videos from Second Chance Toys, you've seen me eyeball it. I've videoed it several times. There's a person in, in uh, way on the other side of Georgia, like toward the coast, that has one. And they're only asking 150 bucks for it. And that's flipping cheap. So I have asked if they can ship. Maybe we can work something out, but it's a long drive. So <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. But guys, again, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you like my content, hit that subscribe button. And please always remember, always remember toys refreshes your soul, and I'll see you next time.